Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. How about you? I'm doing great. Very happy to be here. And to see you for sure. How was your weekend? Fun, singer. Relax. Relaxing. <laughs> that was good. Well, that is I the best see. part. I eat him right now. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Naomi. Finish eating. Finish eating. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Finish okay. eating. That I can sleep. Oh, you could sleep. That's good. Yeah. That's good. When you have the chance to sleep a little bit and to rest, it's really nice. Yeah. Because that is something that we don't normally do, right? That we don't normally rest that much. All the time we have a lot of things to do. Yeah. If you don't have one thing, you have another one, and then you have to do another one, yeah. and that's a big mess, right? It's a it happens. Sick. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is It is always, <laughs> there is always something to do. It is curious that you say like... Imagine if I have a children. <laughs> if I had children, you say, if I had children... Si tuviera, oh. right? If I had yeah, children. Actually. Yeah, but uh, how old are you, Philomen? 34 years old. Ah, but you're very young. No. You're very young. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was 35 when I became a mother, so soon. <laughs> <laughs> soon, soon. That kind of thing, I think that uh, very stressful for me. <laughs> it is real well there is always time believe me believe me that there is always time i have just finished homework and then i came here to work i i was doing homework with with alexander and then i said like i need to go to work bye bye, -bye. <laughs> so i came here yes so hello miguel angel it is francisco and noemi francisco how are you you are very silent today Sorry, teacher, I am not actually there in my audio. I have problems with the audio, sorry. Ah, um, okay. Good evening. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. You say, I have problems. I have I problems. I have problems, sorry. With my audio, you say. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. And you, teacher? I am, you do I am doing great. Very happy. Very, ah, very perfect. happy to be here. Ready for this. I mean, it is it is so curious that I always get very excited at the beginning, right? When I say like, yay, we are starting the group and everything. And then the classes are over and it's like, what happened with the time, right? Time just flies, it just flies away. So you have to take advantage of every single minute that you have. And you see, we only have three days left. I mean. Uh, besides today, we only have three more days and we are over and another level is over for you. And so we need to take the best advantage of this one. After this, I think you are going to advance, right? Did you sign up for the next one? Which one did you sign up for? What What is the next module for you? Advance one, right? Yes, advance advanced one so i just remember when i had anna in what was it basic right it was in basic imagine and now you are in basic two i think basic <laughs> two and you are about to finish but that that's only because of perseverance i mean you have to be very i mean you have to be consistent on your learning and it is a huge process it is not something that bang, you speak english bang magic no it is a matter of practice, a lot of practice. And that is the, the, the thing that we are missing, right? So uh, it, is, it is good. It's really necessary that you keep working every day, all the time, in every single thing. Today, well, in, during the weekend, I sent you a different exercise. I sent you a reading comprehension with listening. And in that case, you can see the difference that you are listening to the audio and you are reading. So you listen 
to the audio, you practice reading, you practice vocabulary, you practice intonation. You can repeat with the audio for you to, to make it very similar. So if any of you hasn't had the chance to see the exercise that I send you, please do it. I send you one about uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, I think it was. So it, it was a very nice exercise. And that's the way that you are going to improve your English through practice. So if you haven't had the chance to see the exercise, check it out because it's going to be very, very helpful. Okay. ¿Quién ya tuvo la oportunidad de escuchar los audios y el ejercicio? Raise your hand. If you have had the chance. Si no les ha quedado chance, pues igual, no, no problem. But if you have done it, ¿quién ya revisó el ejercicio? Veamos. Okay, Ana, good. Who else? Y todos, sí, nos mandaron ejercicio, mira. <ríe> Check it out. Si me desbloquearan el grupo, se dieran cuenta que ahí les envío. <ríe> no, please, check it out. Check it out. It is a very, very excellent reading comprehension exercise. At the end, it has some questions that it's optional if you want to answer them or not, but it is really good. And in the same page that I send you that one, there are many more. So if you want some more exercises like that, send me a message. Teacher, can you share some more with me? And I will be more than glad to send you more exercises like those. Well, so I think most of us are here. And so we're going to start our class today. And as it, this is our last week together, we are going to finish working um, section number five. We're going to work on section number five and we are going to work a little bit on the platform. And at the end of the week on Thursday, we are going to do some closing remarks, a, a little bit of oral presentation for each of you. We are going to do a mini short a, presentation and uh, about the closing of the year of the year <laughs> for me it was like a year <laughs> the closing of the module right Yo ya siento que graduación este, bueno. the closing of the module we are going to have mini presentations about it and about your expectations for the next one so but that is going to be on thursday today we are going to work a little bit on unit number five last week we were talking about what vamos a ver de qué estuvimos hablando la semana pasada Let's see who remembers. What were we talking about last week? Permissions. Permissions. Obligations. Obligations and? Prohibitions. Prohibitions. What else? And the, the, the proverbs. The proverbs. What else? Proverbs. The models. The models. The body. body body language gestures. body language gestures right we were talking about gestures body language permission obligation prohibition proverbs etc i sent you a video also on the group about the different proverbs how do you think of the proverb in spanish and what is the equivalent in English? I think Erivin was mentioning about some proverbs in Spanish and what was the equivalent of them in English. So in the group, I sent you a video about that and you can check it out there. It was, I think it was a TikTok video about the proverbs and it was pretty, pretty interesting. Well, so moving on business today, we are going to be working on, let me just open here, yes. It says, what will you do? That is the name of the unit. And in this unit as well, today I send you two different links. A ver, ¿de qué eran los links que les envié ahora por la tarde? ¿De qué tema de grammar? Conditional. Conditionals, right? Yes, they were about conditionals because the topic of this last unit is the second conditional. It's the one on which you use the past tense plus the would could, might, and uh, wouldn't, right? That is the unreal conditionals. And it says in the first topic that we have, what will you do? Because as they are unreal situations, those are things that you say like, and oh, maybe I will have done something different, right? What will you do if you, I mean, imagine if you are walking on the street and you saw an alien, what will you do? 
What will you do? Imagine if you are just walking on the street and you see an alien. Uh huh. You would get scared and you wouldn't do anything. <laughs> I, I will get scared. You say, yeah, I will get scared. I will take a picture for sure. Imagine all the viewers that I would get with a video or a picture of a real alien. But we we sometimes don't think about those things, right? It's like... It depends the appearance. Okay. <laughs> It depends on the appearance of the alien, right? Because maybe if it is like they say in, in, in the movies, like round head and eyes and stuff, it'd be like, nah, nice. But if it is like similar to the ones on Men in Black, mm, I would run. <laughs> Very ugly. So what will you do if you are walking, for example, and you find $1 million on the floor? What will you do? Regret. <laughs> Re regret. Why regret? This is the, the meaning of regresar, right? Uh, no, no, no. Regret is como, como sentirte apenado por algo. Feel okay. regret. You're like, mm. So how can I say regresar? Return. 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 I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, yes. Return. We have to return. <laughs> we but have if, to. If you are not, if, if aren't you, if, if it isn't yours, you have to is, return it. If it isn't yours, yes. Okay, you but it. if it is on the street with no one and you find the money on the floor, it's I not yours. It's it. not. <laughs> you didn't work to to, to won. Yeah, you didn't you didn't work to get it. You to, say. You, to, you, to get it, okay. Exactly. You didn't want to get it. Good. Alejandro is very honest, you see. Some, uh, and he fits very well here, when it says like, some stories of honesty. Very good, mm -hmm. right? If it isn't yours, if you didn't work for it, give it back. If the owner says, keep it, that's another story, right? Exactly. <laughs> if the owner says, I don't need it, keep it, what would you do? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay so good so the other question what would you buy with a million dollar what would you buy acciones i don't know what is the meaning of the <laughs> well actions you can buy actions actions okay yeah. actions you have to put you have to put to work your money you for have you. to put the money to work aha good. for you okay. yes very a good. <laughs> Which one, a Jennifer? A big house. <laughs> a big house. Good. A big house. Fantastic. Uh, Erivin, what would you buy? <laughs> My own house, teacher. Your own house. Hey, Katia, you are feeling better. That's nice. Ya la veo mucho mejor. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Fantastic. Very, very yes. nice to have you here. Better. You are better. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Boris, what will you buy with a million dollars? I buy my friend an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> an ice cream. Yeah. You are so cool. All ingress corporativo. You can buy ice cream for all the teachers, the students, yeah. and everybody. Okay. Remember this moment, Boris, because once you get the money, I will look for you. And I was like, Boris, in my ice cream, I was. <laughs> okay. I, I will look for you. Andrea, Vanilla what? Chocolate, okay. chocolate, chocolate. In some Valentine's Day, teacher. <gasps> yeah, for sure. Ah, we are not <laughs> going to be together for Valentine. Hmm. And I wanted to play Amigo Secreto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I was going to, Andrea, what would you buy with a million dollars? Uh, buy a house. <laughs> A house, good, a house. That's a very good thing. I think we all want to buy a house, right? That's like the, the general thing. We all want to buy a house. That's pretty good. Well, so as uh, we have here, let me just share it again because it got a little crazy. Here it is. I recommend you, I recommend you real rich dad, poor dad. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing, right? That's a very in this, good In this book, book you, will, you will find 
uh, or you will know that a house is a a, a passive and yeah. not an active. It's a, that's so, a that's a passive. Just that. Yes. A passive wealth. A passive. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it is a good book indeed. It is a very very good book. So, stories of honesty. Have you ever done, before I read this once, before I read this once, have you ever done something because you were honest and you were well paid back? That you say, I did it because I knew it was correct. And you receive a payback for that. Have you ever done something like that? Que hizo algo desinteresadamente y se regresó al doble a su vida. Yes. Give me an example. Yes, always. Oh, I don't remember. Well, an example. There's a lot of. No, I, I don't want to give you an example, but. <laughs> but you have done it, but you have done it before. Okay. So Alejandro yeah. has done it. Who else has done it? Raise your hand if you have done it. Maybe if you are not going to share it, but raise your hand. If you have done something good for someone else and you receive a payback for that, Boris. Okay, Boris raised his hand. Good. Okay, good. Francisco, Erwin, have you done good things for yes. others that came back could, to you? Could, could, could I share my could I share my 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 story? For sure, you can. You say, okay, can uh, I? Can I? Can I? Uh, yes. Share my story. Okay. For sure. Uh, I was at uh, the supermarket. Um, uh, a card uh, had a the key. The key in the I don't know how to say where the the the, the page where the key go. Oh, uh, it, but, okay. It has the keys on. Uh -huh, okay. okay oh, on yeah. the door. On the door. Okay. The key. Uh, the key was on uh, the lock. Uh, you say the on lock. The lock on the yeah. lock. Ah, okay. I took the keys. And go to the supermarket and uh, well, uh, call for the manager and he uh, by by a microphone mm -hmm. uh, call call the uh, the uh, owner. Yeah, maybe the proprietor proprietary of the the car. Oh. Um, and after I get I got him the key. Hey, that's so nice. You see, I gave him the key. I gave, I gave the him the key. So you see, that's good. In some cases, it's a matter of doing good things for others. Thank you, Boris, for sharing. You say, the key was on the lock of the door. You say, it was on the lock. It was on the on the place that you put the key to open, right? That's the lock, okay? We, here we have a, four different stories of honesty. Anna, can you help me to read story number one about the taxi driver? Okay, taxi driver returns a Brazilian soccer. Soccer? Uh -huh. Soccer players. Soccer players World Cup on gold medal and ah, sixty thousand. No, sixty thousand dollars. Ah, fifty thousand dollars. Sorry, I just lived. Is reward with a. Uh, one 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 thousand one thousand and so there is a you souvenirs oh, souvenirs okay taxi driver returns brazilian soccer players world cup gold medal and sixty thousand dollars sixty thousand the three zeros it's thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four five Sixty thousand, right? And is rewarded with one thousand dollars and souvenirs. So he got back uh, money and souvenirs. Hello, Daisy. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel good. Hey. I can talk. You can. I speak. feel much better. That's so good, right? You feel much better. It's good to listen to you. It's good that you can talk again. That is so fantastic. Welcome back, Daisy. You have been here, but not completely. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. So he was rewarded with $1,000. What is the second story? Jenny, can you help me with the businessman? 
Okay. Businessman tracks down owner of a seven hundred no seven seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand and is thank you only with a phone call. <laughs> okay. Businessman <laughs> tracks down owner of seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and he is thank only with a phone call. I thank you very much for my money. He didn't give him a quarter for that, but he did the right thing. Let's see. Let's continue with the next one. Sara, can you help me with the student? Good evening, teacher. Hi. The student to detective to find aware of lost cash, credit cards, Airlines ticket and um, jewelry. 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 And an honest man. Yes, student tell review over. Okay. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The student turns detective, he says, to find owner of lost cash, credit cards, airline tickets, and jewelry. Jewelry is joyas or joyeria, right? I am an honest man, he says. The student tells a uh, relieved owner, right? The relieved owner, it's just like the, the owner, in some cases, when you get something back to people, they say, I am going to check it to see if it is complete, right? Imagine that you lost your wallet, right? Imagínense que ustedes hayan perdido su billetera y se la dan de regreso. ¿Qué es lo primero que van a hacer? To check it if it is, abrazo, if it is <laughs> thank you very much, right? After the hug and everything. But later you are going you are going to check if if the things are there, right? If the money is there, if your documents are there, and everything. Not in front of the person, right? But you are going to check it. I mean, in the meantime. But hey man, where's my money? <laughs> like, where's where's my money? I found it like that, they are going to say. Can so, I say the conform, Atisha? Um, you are okay with that. Okay. You are okay with that. I mean, you just, <laughs> you, you cannot do much, right? But at least if you get the do it back, yeah, ya son como 10, 10 y algo que ya no va a pagar. So, he says, he tells the relieved owner, right? It's like, phew, I got it back. Thank God, right? That it's relieved. The next one, we have homeless mom and three kids. Let me see. Bodies, can you help me with that one? I try it, okay? Go ahead, go ahead. A homeless mom and three kids return lost 400, no, 4,000, no. No, 400. 400. I want to check to owner. Owner help family move into a house of their own. Imagine. So it says homeless mom. Homeless mom, it means that if you are homeless, if is that you don't have a house, right? Homeless yeah. mom and three kids return lost a $400 check to the owner. So the owner helps them to move into a house of their own. So he helped them to get their own house. That is a pretty good thing, right? He was a, the, a, a very good reward for, this, uh, for these people, right? Who didn't have a house. In this case, I just wanted to make a quick stop for, let me just get my board here. This one. And let me make another one here. Okay, I am going to make the three different ones. Okay, just let me change this one. So in this one, for this type of number, you say only 100, right? 100, this one is 1,000. This one is 10,000. 10, 10, this one, it is 100,000. 100, 100, 100, 100, 
And in this one, you have one, one million. Million. Uh, million. million. One million. So if you change any of this one, you say, for example, imagine that you say, what is this number then? The one that I just wrote. 315,245. 300, uh -huh. 300, okay, that is the way you do it. But remember that you make the divisions, right? Any number that it's from here to here, right? It's like 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, uh, 50,000, okay? And then you do the complement on... Uh, the rest, right? 245, 356, 111, etc. right? But these ones, the first three, in this case, it's 1,000, okay? Just to make a quick review on our friends, the numbers. And the easy ones, right? For example, these ones, you say 124. So you say 567, right? 789, okay? Those are normal. But if you say 678. Two, okay. This is, if for example, it can be something related to math. But if you say, if you are talking about money, you say, how do you read the last one? If you are talking about money, point one hundred and fifty point fifty, 50 cent. <laughs> one hundred fifty point fifty, right? <laughs> So it is in in these big numbers. It is not common to have cents next to it, right? If you go to the store, you are going to have numbers like this one. How much is it? One hundred ninety nine, and you say hey, it is very cheap. <laughs> it's only one dollar to two hundred. So, but they say like vale menos de doscientos is cheap. So one hundred ninety nine, and if you say it's affordable, right? And if it is just like this, you say it's $1.50. If you're talking about money or about uh, something to shop, right? It's $1.50. Or if you say this is only 58 cents. 58 cents. Okay. And you got it there. And if you have this one, 0 0.25, it is a, it's a quarter. Quarter. It's, a quarter. it's a quarter and now you know why they say it's a quarter it's a quarter a quarter, a quarter. ay que complicado dijeron ah digamosle quarter, quarter. <laughs> that's it that's why it's called quarter because the name is quarter so but there you have it so that was like a, a I wanted to make just a stop review there and uh, let's go back to the stories of honesty in these ones the questions that we always do, what would you do in these situations? If you are a good person, for sure, you are going to do the same these people did on each of the stories. What would you do with the gold medal of a World Cup? You cannot take it to La Cornucopia. What would you do with the gold uh, I would sell to somebody. <laughs> I would sell it to somebody, right? Situation. <laughs> we, we need it, you say. I will sell it to somebody, you say. Yeah. It may be imagine if the taxi driver didn't know what it was. It was like, ah, mira este volado brillante que hay aquí. <laughs> and maybe the person didn't even know, right? And if, for example, if you find something on the street and the thing has a name or something, give it back. That's the best thing that you can do. And if you don't find the owner, then keep it there. Maybe it's going to uh, find and it's going to come back someday. Honesty pays, they say. The meaning of the word honesty pays. It is that if you do the things right, right things are going to happen back. So that is the meaning of that one. Here we have a short conversation. And it says here, I am going to ask one of my beautiful volunteers to help me. Mr. Francisco, with that radio voice, help me. You are going to be uh, Lou and Noemi is going to be Kate. Okay. 
Uh, what? <coughs> 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 <Come> on, Francisco. <laughs> um, look at this. Sangha ya fan. Um, seven, and seven hundred and fifteen hundred. No, uh, I just explained that. Sorry, that sorry. Because... <laughs> How I much is it? Exactly. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Thousand. Sorry, Harry. Two hundred thousand. The hunger. Thank you. In with some a uh, phone call. Mary, you're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty million thousand, thousand. <laughs> million, we need three more zeros. Thousand. <laughs> I will return it. It is so fast. Well, it's so fast. What will we do? Well, I go straight to Las Vegas and try my look in the casinos. I will. I could double the money in the and skip seven hundred hundred fifty hundred thousand thousand. thousand. <laughs> for myself. <laughs> for myself. Jimmy also a lot. It helped in the die. Um, send your call. Go to hell. To hell, mm. to jail. Mm. Jail, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You will go to jail. Yeah. Mm. You've got a point there. Okay. You are going to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> to jail, jail. Sorry. Ya lo mandó al infierno, but that's okay. <laughs> you will go to hell. <laughs> yeah, you see. Well, jail, hell, yeah, it's like similar. When you say, Look at this. Look at this. Imagine that you are showing somebody something on the newspaper. You say, like, hey, look at this. And you see the news, right? Look at this. Some guy, don't say some gay, you say some guy found $750,000. And he returned it. And the owner thanked him with a phone call. So you are sharing the story, right? You are sharing the story. Look at this. Go with me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, but I, I know what Bobber si me said. Look at this. Look, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Patty, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. ¿A dónde queda el buen salvadoreño que está? Si encuentra algo que le llama la atención al salvadoreño, le va a decir, ¡Eh! Miguel, mira. Ok, y Miguel es going to be like, ¿qué? <laughs> he's going to be, he's going to look at that, right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Look this. Look at this. Enseñenme algo y díganme que lo vea. Quiero ver si es cierto. Teacher, look at the way. Wait, wait. Well, miss, I, I will miss, stop. Miss, 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 look, at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Beautiful <laughs> notebook. Uh -huh. Look at look this. Look at teacher. this. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look, new at, this. look at this, teacher. Very good. Teacher, <laughs> look at this. Wow. <laughs> look at this. That's good. That's the way to call look someone. Look at this. Teacher. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. And if you don't, don't use the correct pronunciation, people are not going to look at you. And it's like, ah, I was ignored. No, you were not ignore. You were not using the correct pronunciation. Imagine if they're like, look at this. <laughs> huh? Look at this. Miss, look uh -huh. at this. I have ah. one dollar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I have it there. Thank you. So you are not being ignored. Look at this teacher. What is it? That's it. What is it, Noemi? <laughs> You got my attention. I, it's a pen. It's a tape. <laughs> you think <of> art? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> now you got my attention. You see, you got my attention. Very good. So, hey, it is not that you are not doing doing it right. You are using just the incorrect pronunciation. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at this. 
A lot of money. <laughs> he found a lot of money, right? He found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. 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 Seven hundred fifty Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. There you go. That's the, that's the way to do it. No, the thing is that we don't open the mouth to speak. We need to articulate. Tenemos que articular. Tenemos que articular. Si no, las palabras no van a salir bien. So, and that's a problem with Spanish. It is so flat that you don't have to, to do any effort. Si se fijan, el español es un lenguaje tan lineal que ni siquiera hacemos el esfuerzo de mover la boca. Allá I remember un... that yeah. that money belonged to Claudio Tafarel, uh, the goalkeeper of Brazil, I remember. My God. <laughs> you know the owner of the money and I didn't know. <laughs> so, you have to articulate, you have to move your mouth, you have to move your mouth, okay? Aquí todos se cepillaron, yo no veo frijoles en ninguno de esos dientes, así que articulate that map. <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you did it, you did it, right? He returned it. The, yeah. He returned Especially it. because in English uh -huh. we have 11 or, or 12, I don't remember exactly, 11 or 12 uh, sounds of the vocal sounds. Exactly, yeah. All so the different the, vowels In have, Spanish we only have this. The, so, the only one, right? We only have one. Uh -huh. In English, it, as it, is, it doesn't have a stress marks. Como en español tenemos so, acentos. In English, we don't have. We don't have a stress mark. So you have to mark the stress on the words, right? He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. Go ahead. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. Thank him. Thank him. Thank, thank him. him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank, thank him. him. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. With a phone call. call. Now I understand what you are saying, right? <laughs> You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. It's like, nah, not the creo. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. Está bromeando. O sea, ¿qué? Nombre. Right. You're kidding. If I found. Nombre chile. Yeah, right. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. It's like, yo no lo devuelvo tan rápido. I wouldn't return it so fast. I wouldn't return I, it I so wouldn't fast. Return I wouldn't return it so fast. Okay. I like, wouldn't return it so fast. If I found a car, if I found a car, I would keep it. What is it? If I found a car, I will keep it. <laughs> If I found a car, I will keep it. I will keep it. So, will, and you give the intonation as if you were saying it in, in Spanish, right? Si yo me encontrara un carro, yo me lo quedo. 
So you use the pronunciation in Spanish, right? If I found $750,000, I will keep it. I wouldn't return it so fast, right? You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh, you, You're I kidding. kidding. If I You're found... Kidding. I found $7,000. And now comes the question. Why? What would you do? Why? Why would you do? What 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 would you do? Well, uh, of course. Uh, well, I will go straight to Las Vegas. I will go straight to Las Vegas. Well, I will go straight to Las Vegas. And try my luck in the casinos. Try my luck in the casinos. You don't say look, right? My luck. Luck. And try my luck in the casino. I could double the money. I could double the money. I could double the money in a day. I could double the money in a day. And keep 750,000 for myself. And keep 750,000 for myself. For myself. Now, let's read it complete. Ahora lo leemos completo. Well, I will go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. Myself. For myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the difference, people? Do you see the difference when you read properly and you use correct intonation and you use the correct punctuation and you use the correct intonation? The message is clear and I can understand what you are saying, right? But that's the difference. It requires a lot of practice. It requires a lot of shadowing. It requires a lot of repetition, right? Que me dice que va a parecer no sé qué raro repitiendo algún audio. It's okay, but it's a way for you to get the intonation of the English language, okay? Because did you listen to the first readers? They were reading exactly as they could do it, but now we can understand. It says, you might also lose it all in a day. You might also lose it all in a day. Lose it all. You might also lose it all in a day. You might also you lose, might it might lose it all in a day. Also all in a day. Also okay. And this, a day. Is, this is like in Spanish. Lo perdes en un día, right? And you use the same intonation. You might also lose it all in a day. You never know. You might also lose it all in a day. You might also lose it all in a day. And then you could go to jail. And then you could go to jail. You see, Daisy, Daisy has even the body language. And then you could go to jail. It's like, ha, ha, ha. You are going to lose it and you can go to jail. And if you don't understand, it's your fault, right? And then you could go to jail. And then you say like, hmm, you've got a point there. It's like, mm, mejor no, right? And you've got a point there. 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 And you think about it and you say, hmm, maybe I not, I, I won't do it, right? Hmm, you've got a point there. You've got a point there. It's, I don't want you to go to the jail. I don't want you to go to jail and I don't want to go to jail, right? So that's the idea when you use this type of conversation. You have to live the conversation, right? And as you can see, Americans are very expressive at the moment of speaking. No sé si se ha fijado cuando habla algún nativo americano. They move their hands and they do expressions and they, they move their bodies a lot because they make you understand through the different gestures, right? 
And it's like, and you do this and you do that and everything. So I do it a lot, right? I'm not Native American, but I, I have learned to do this, right? To move a lot. So tell me the conversation, people. I am going to be Lou and you are going to be Kate. And then you are going to repeat with me. People, look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. Can you believe it? You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. No, no, no. Found. Wait, wait, wait. Corte. 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Corte. <laughs> you have to pay attention, people. Focus on task. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, yes, ready. yes, teacher. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, <Are> now. <laughs> Action. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. Can you believe it? You're just kidding. You're 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 kid
y si voláramos. Bo? And then you, you start like inventing things and you say like, well, I wouldn't suffer with the traffic. That was, that would be something nice, right? How would you solve the traffic? I will invent a machine, I don't know, to, to transport me to my job. And I will never have to, to use the public transportation again. Imaginary situations, simple past. If I found, if I had, if I bought, right? And the consequence as well is imaginary because you don't know, right? I was telling you, what would you do if you found a wallet full of money? Mm, I might return it. I could return it. I wouldn't return it, right? I will go to the police and give it to them, right? Because that is something that you think that you will do. But when you are on the moment, on the situation, it might change, right? Because this it will is... go far away with the money. <laughs> to Las Vegas. <laughs> Every, everybody will go to Las Vegas, right? In this case, we have other options, right? If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast, said the, the lady on the conversation. I might go to Las Vegas. I could double it in a casino. I would go straight to the police. So here, I have some situations and I have some possible answers, right? If I found a, bur a burglar in my house, this is a burglar, right? This is a burglar. It's like ladron, a burglar in my house. If I found a burglar in my house, what would you do? And here you have some options. I will break a window to get in. <laughs> I um, could think of ways to I would shoot in. him with a gun. <laughs> Come on. That's not an option here. <laughs> I will probably call the police. <laughs> I guess it, I might spend it. I might tell a sales clerk. I will run to my neighbors for help. I could get a set of keys for my friend. So let's find the different matches for this ones. You know, Uh, what Dennis just said, it's very common, for example, in, in Idaho. I have a friend who lives in Idaho, and there in Idaho and in Alabama, it's okay for you to have a gun in your house, in your car, whatever thing. And they are like, they are just there. And I remember I, I went on this pickup of my friend, and I, and I told her, Uh, she told me, Nati, Nati, get in on the, on the car. And I was like, yeah. And I entered and next to her seat, a la parte de su asiento, there was a big gun like this. And I was like, what's that? Said, What, what's that doing there? I said like, no, 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 aquí tengo una. Y también en la casa, y ahí por la cama. And I was like, creepy. So I will shoot him with a gun. It's an I think at the, uh, at the United States, it's very common have a gun. Yeah, to have a gun. Any anybody can can do it, right? But she was like, no, aquí tengo una ella también. Y en la cama. Y I was like, okay, <laughs> like candies, I said. So, if I found a burglar in my house, what would you do? I probably call, call the police. Call the police. I probably call the police, right? I'll probably call the police. I will. I will probably call the police, right? Because I will. This is the combination of I would right? I would oh. probably call the police. If I saw someone shoplifting, what is the meaning of shoplifting? That you are in a place, in a store, and then you say like, oh, yeah, these are all the things that I want. Oh, look, look, an alien, an alien. And then you leave with something extra that you didn't pay shoplifting when you are taking things from the store right that you think no one is going to see you and you just get extra things if you see someone shoplifting what will you do i only smile i might tell you Tell a salesman. I might tell sales, sales clerk. Sales clerk. I might tell a sales clerk, right? Al encargado. Sales clerk. If I found seventy-five thousand on the street, 
<laughs> to Las Vegas. <laughs> Now everything is going to be to Las Vegas. Huh? Well, Alejandro said that this my, answer. I might not. I might not tell anybody. But Alejandro said, I could think of ways to invest it. <laughs> To invest the money, right? No, no, so. I have to return. Did you have you ever have you ever heard about uh, Jokoi Kenji? No. Have you ever heard about Jokoi Kenji before? No, no, no. Never. No, 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 never. This oh, is my first he's time. A, okay, he's an interesting people person. Person, uh -huh. uh, he, Yes, he is a Colombo Japanese person, and he's a. a, a a speaker, a speaker, He's no, a speaker, uh, huh? A speaker, a speaker person, yeah. And he had, he have a uh, very nice speakers in YouTube about, oh. and he 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 talk about the the principles. The the yeah the principles. You say I have principles. The principles, yeah. Yeah. So, send send us the link on the on the group so we can actually check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Please, he, he, he talked about honestly about integrity about everything about that okay so please i recommend share, you share it share it with us and i will be more than glad okay. to listen to it so i could think okay. of ways to invest it or i what what what, what was the other one i might not tell anybody <laughs> I return I, to my neighbor. I, no. I might not tell anyone that the second option that they have. Yeah, I will call the police. <laughs> And the police, bueno, diez para vos, diez para... <laughs> so I, I better donate the money. <laughs> If the teacher gives me an A on the test by mistake, mm -hmm, what will you do? I mean, not take a not gift on anymore. Valentine. Ah, okay. You see, <laughs> Boris, you are telling me. You are telling me. This is for Boris. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I will be waiting for my gift on Valentine. That's the stars. Okay. <laughs> oh, There I you want go. To tell anybody. Plus. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, Boris. And I will wait for my for my Valentine's gift. And please, okay. not better be one of us, okay? No matter what, no, no, no. <laughs> I want a good gift. If the teacher gives me an A on the test by mistake, they say, I might not tell anybody. Everybody. Keep the secret. <laughs> But then the teacher will know, right? If I lock myself out of my house, si me quedo afuera de mi casa, sin llaves, what would I do? I break I a window. Break a window, 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 window to get in. Pew, pew, pew. I will break a window to get in, right? Very good. I will break a window to get in. If I won a million dollars in a lottery, I guess I might spend it. I guess I might spend it, right? Definitely, we might spend it. And here we have another option. This one, I will run to my neighbors for help. In which option do, would you use it? If I look, it's a fun. I work in my home. Exactly. Yeah, If I am home, locked out of my, my house. house, I could mm -hmm. I could get a set of keys for my friend. That is another option for this one, right? Mm -hmm. I could get a set of keys to my friend, not to the burglar, okay? To your friends. So there you have different options for these things, right? So let me go here. I have this predicaments predicaments are these imaginary situations i need you to find one it says what would what do you think you will do or might do in these situations you found a valuable piece of jewelry in the park you were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards you saw two people fighting in the street You discover your friend has a drinking problem. Someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach and a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. These are other type of sentences, right? These are situations. What would you do if? What would you do if? ¿Qué haría si? Right? If you found a valuable piece of jewelry in the park, what would you do? Call the police. 
I might call the police. Yes. 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 And write the situation and write the answer. Okay. Write it on your notebook. Choose one, write it on your notebook and write what would you do in each situation. I am going to call the attendance meanwhile and while you copy. Okay. And mientras ustedes copien y escriben que harían en este caso, les voy a pasar lista. Okay. There you go. There you have it. <clears throat> Can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay, I am going to call the attendance meanwhile and I need you to copy, please. Copienlo y pongan que harían en cada caso. What would you do in each of the case, in, in the case that you choose? Write your answer. And I am going to go with the attendance here. There we go. Okay. Sorry for Chiara that is barking too. Someone on the street. Alba Colombina. Present teacher. Alejandro Jose. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Present. Ana. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Marisol. Present teacher. Boris Martín. Here, teacher. Brian Isaac. Thank you. Denis Isaías. Present. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Present teacher. <laughs> me, me encanta, me encanta esa actitud. Let's go with Dina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Okay, Eric, Eric, juraría que lo vi por aquí. Okay, Dina, yes, did I call Dina? Yes, eh, Elba Carolina, yes, Eric Ernesto, did I answer, eh, Francisco, oh, sorry, Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto. Present teacher. Iris Regina. Is here teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Jose Eraivin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Katia. Maritza no, Isabel. Teacher present. Thank you, thank you. Katia. Katia, Katia. Maritza. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. And Nadia. No. Que se me hizo Nadia. El Ricardo de Jesús. Present teacher. Ronald Antonio. Ronald. Sara. Present teacher. Thank you. And Vidal. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, thank you very much to all the ones who answer. So please, my dear students, have your answer ready because we are going to use it for the audio tomorrow, okay? Practice your answer because you are going to use it for the audio for tomorrow. And we're going to use it in class as well. Have a wonderful night, my dear class. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Bye-bye. Okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Thank you for tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. If you Bye. find money, go call the police. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> to Las Vegas. Bye. <laughs>